Here's Amelia. We have a Miss Amelia. We're going to show you her carding today. Now, she has a regular halter on from the Hoger Supply Company harness. She also has this on to hold this from falling down because it falls down really badly on her. And she also has a very small, very light bit in her mouth made from a simple coat hanger. I don't use it. It's not used as much. There's more pressure on the underneath her mouth. But sometimes she doesn't want to stop as well or slow down sometimes. So this is just more for pullback measures. Doesn't bother her hardly at all. She does have a really long lip, so this actually isn't pulled back as far as you'd think it would be. I'm gonna put her harness on now. So have her harness on, front all the way up to the fourth point, keep it from falling too far down. She has a shorter chest than my other doe. And then the back and the understrap where the tidies will go. I actually have extra extra holes on this one because it's too loose. I got the cart right quick. I wet her down because she was getting too hot already. I wet her down right quick. Here's the cart. It's pretty run down. Parts of it are broken off over the last couple months. It's just doable. The t dog chewed off part of the tire. So I'm going to hook up the cart now. She's already ready. Call it for it. It has two hooks right here. These aren't going to hook in the correct place, but they hook about where they would normally hook, actually. So I'll hook them onto these two, these loops right here. That's where, that's the loops where the actual hooks would go. So I'll hook one on, and put the other on. Steady, girl. She's ready to go. those hooks there, hold it up there, then we're going to hook on the back loops, and we about as tight as we'll go, we get the majority just pulling, this is like this, this hook here, she pulls from there, like I said it's a run down cart, we're going to hook up these, How does they'll go hold it back? Okay, should I do the other one? She's behaving very well. Okay. Those are looped on. She's nice and hooked up. You get ready to go. Get a hook on the other ring. And the ring just hook on to the actual part of the bridle, not the bit. Because I don't want all the pull on the bit for her. She's not used to the bit as much. I don't want to ruin her like my other doe is. Hopefully, that guy with the motorcycle will cut that wall will work. Although, he might. He did last time. Alright, I'm going to go on and get her set up and I'll turn the camera back on just Alrighty, we're headed up. And she walks right out to your driveway, just like planned. You're going to hear my goat screaming for a little while. Her back's arched just a little bit because she's going uphill. She'll get better as we get out on the road. Plus she's not really completely used to my weight yet. Come the big truck. Here comes Chuck's guys. Ooh. Supposed to stop in the driveway. Now we're gonna go right. Wait, no. Hold on. Okay, messing up. Whoa. She didn't know which way we were gonna go. Back up. I'm gonna go right. Come on, Amelia. Come on. Add it. Alright. She's not fully used to it yet, and holding a camera is making me very unable to completely control her. I want her to trot.
so that her feet are off the ground as much as possible. Come on. That's good. I've got a little bounce on this cart because this, this cart has a best up tire. Or it trot. Or her feet off the ground as much as possible without going too, too fast. Because this ground can get a little hot. I'll tap her tail sometimes, get her to go. Come on. I'm trying to teach her to go a little faster. I like a steady trot. Add a girl. She likes the scenery, likes the ground. Cars coming around me, hopefully. Hopefully they don't kill us. My luck, they will. Nope, going around us. Millie, don't mind much. Slows down a little bit and she'll speed up. She'll chase after him a little bit. Likes to yell after him. Probably talking to me a little bit too. Not used to be talking as much. <laughs> nice steady chat. Another car is coming. Being so nice, they're pulling over for us. I'm waiting on the one that's gonna honk the horn at us. Haven't had that happen just yet, but I'm waiting on it. Nice cool pavement. She's still trotting. She's going a little fast. I'm going to pull her reins in just a little bit and ask her to slow down. I even let go of the reins just now. She's fine. Steady trot. breathing a little hard. I can hear. It's hard to hear on the camera though. Nice and cool right here. Try and go a little further than we did yesterday hopefully, but I'm scared to go by her old house, which is down here. Because she might try to go away towards them. Come on, Amelia. Add a girl. Nice steady truck. All I have to do is tickle her usually. Oh, I'm pretty fast, too. She's slowing up that car. Nervous about him. cooled off today compared to yesterday. Just getting a little tired. Probably need to turn around just a minute. Get her all the way up to this driveway up here and we'll turn her around. Just a little further. Turned around right there yesterday. Trying to ask her to go. And get her to go faster. I don't want to pull her tail every time so I try to get her to go with just hand signals as much as I can.
very well behaved today, Amelia. I'm going to try to videotape us turning around. It gets a little tricky. Come on, all the way up in this driveway. No cars coming. All right, let me set this down, turn this around. We'll turn a little bit here. Turn it all the way around. A little anxious. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And a girl. I don't like her to run home. So I'm going to ask her to get to a nice steady trot again. Hopefully our old owners will drive by. They drive a lot. Steady. Tired herself out a little bit. She went a little too fast back there. Oh goodness. We're about to have a horn honk at us. Can't stop, sorry. Sweet, but <laughs> too sweet. Thought she was gonna honk the horn. It's got slowing down really good. I think. <gasps> Snake in the road. Go back and get that in a minute. Come on, Amelia. Apple my toe. Dang. This is a goat, not a horse. Amelia didn't even see that. Give her a little tap on the butt. Clicker. As a personal thing, I like to ride on the white line with my right tire on the right white line. That way cars have the most amount of room to be able to pass me. But at the same time, I'm not off the road. And it just feels safer to me. And if I have to roll off the road, such as if some idiot decides he's not going to slow down, and there's a car coming the other way, I could easily just swerve off the road. Or if I see a semi coming and I'm afraid they don't see us just yet, I'll, I'll automatically come off the road. It's just a safety thing. I'd rather um, be off the road 
and him not see us than be on the road stubborn and him not see us. I need to get some blinkers for this thing. Caution lights, probably. Slowing down a little bit because she's getting close to home. That's just her. It's a good thing for her. Okay, we're not going in that driveway yet, honey. Come on. I think I pulled the reins a little bit. Not sure. And we're home. All right, I like to slow her to a walk at home. So she doesn't get too excited. Probably a little tired too. If I can see your nostrils are flared pretty bad. The muscles are working good on her back legs though. That's a good thing. No, we stop right about here. Whoa. She's not real good at whoa yet. She's only good at go. Ooh. Whoa. Trying to teach her whoa. Tired. Breathing real hard. Ooh. Gotta unhook ya. Alright. I'll show you what we do after each ride. See how hot she is? She's tired. I'm pretty much cooler, just like a horse. You start the legs first. Not sure if really that helps at all, but I still do it. Make sure she knows I'm about to wash her down, at least. That's okay. And I just slow, quickly start going up. She doesn't mind it anymore because she knows it feels good in the end. And she's a quick cooler. She dries off really quick. Actually, she's a slow cooler. She dries off really quick, though. You can just tell she likes it in a way, even though it's water. She knows it feels good. I can get all the way. I can even wash her face if I wanted to, but she don't like it too much. I'll sometimes wash her head off. If she's really tired, like the day. No, she's taught to just stand here. She just stands here. Takes it. Now wash her down so she stops breathing real hard. water isn't ice cold either, it's just cool. It's pretty cold, but not ice cold, so you don't freeze her or anything. I mostly get down the spine. It's all the way down the body. The belly too. The belly has a lot of veins in it, so... My other doe, all her belly veins pop out. So I can tell it's a heavy, cool off place. And she has that look on her face of just pure love, because she just loves to get cooled down even though it's water. The tail sticking up too, that's how you can really tell that she likes it. Even when I wash her down there. Alright, she stopped breathing pretty heavily. Then, so if we use the bow tie, we just pull this, loosens those up, and I'll pull it out the back end. Pops off. Oh, wait, I gotta put her collar back on. Here. Hold on, Amelia. Alright, there she is. She's gonna go look for Bambi now.
tired out. Probably a little cold too. 